Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The recently launched Proba V miniaturized satellite captured this image over the border region of northern Syria, southeastern Turkey, and northern Iraq on May 28th. Proba V will map land cover and vegetation growth across the entire planet every two days with its vegetation imager. In this image, the contrast between the green areas, some with agricultural plots, and the sparsely vegetated areas is evident. It demonstrates Proba V's ability to see slight differences in vegetation cover. Vegetation intensity and health can help in crop yield predictions and to map interannual changes in vegetation cover. The vegetation imager will also be used for day-by-day -day tracking of extreme weather, alerting authorities to crop failures, monitoring inland water resources, and tracing the steady spread of deserts and deforestation. Now, the area pictured in this image is about 500 kilometers across, with large reservoir lakes along the Euphrates River to the left, and another along the Tigris River on the right. Reservoirs and rivers secure water supply in this very dry region. They also form the basis for what is visible in different shades of green along the water's edges, and irrigated agricultural plots provide food and income to the population. In the central right portion of the image, we can see Iraq's Sinjar Mountains. Members of the Yazidi religious group believe that this is where Noah's Ark came to rest after the biblical flood. The Proba V satellite is currently in its commissioning phase, which includes a careful cross-calibration of the vegetation imager with its predecessor on France's Spot 5 satellite to ensure data compatibility. Well, that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.